Here's all the FPL price reveals so far. Let's review them and tell me what you think. 12.5 for most of last seems about right. Callister is coming 0.5 less than I expected, but there's better Liverpool options. Trent being 8 mil could well be overpriced. Robertson looks a better alternative, but keep an eye on Van Dijk. 7.5 mil for Darwin Nunes seems like a steal. He's going straight into my first team draft. 5 mil is about right for the Wolves keeper. I think Trippier is 0.5 overpriced, so you should leave him well alone. Keep your eye on Patrick Clivert's son. He could be an underpriced gem or a complete flop. If Arsenal play like they did last year, then Odegaard will be about right. Big changes are happening at Chelsea, but I think their unproven striker is overpriced. 6 mil is overpriced for the West Ham midfielder. Mitoma is priced about right, but it'll be interesting to see Gross's price, who could be a nice differential. Leno is offering good value, which will please the FPL legend Ambrose. As the other Fulham players, apart from maybe Mitro, don't look good options, 8 mil is too much for Watkins with budgets being tight this year. Eze has a couple of years of pedigree, could well be a popular pick. Talking of picks, Pickford could be good for save points at 4.5. Expect them to improve under Sean Dyche. Don offers good value for money in a more attacking Spurs team, which will please another legend, FPL Matt Day. Apologies in advance, but I'm going to butcher the name. Mabuebo? Mubo? Mubo? Mumo? Not sure, but if someone could stitch this and let me know how you pronounce it, that'd be appreciated. The Frenchman looks set to be an out position midfielder, leading the line for Brentford, at least until Tony comes back. Benton, overpriced. Burnley's keeper might get save points, but it's unlikely for clean sheets. Roberts is an attacking winger, so could be one to keep your eye on at 4.5. It could be good value in Luton, but it's very risky. Next up is Fernandez, who I'm tipping to be one of the best value players this season, which will please another legend, FPL Scott. There'll be no 4 million at Wonder Kid, John Lundstrom this season, but the Sheffield players could be an interesting watch. Now the one you've been waiting for, Haaland. Honestly, I think he's slightly overpriced, but I expect high ownership yet again, so you want to keep an eye out for Gibbs White, who might find himself involved in your favourite theme tune by FPL legend Jimmy G, where he gives you a differential of the week. The Forest front line could be interesting, otherwise leave well alone. Made it this far, thanks for watching, and let me know what you think.